to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Jabletons. What's up? I'm a loser. What? I'm going to look right in the camera. Subscribe on YouTube, by the way. We combined channels with uh, Drinking Bros Podcast. So we're, we're on there now. Ross Patterson Revolution, Drinking Bros Podcast. And we're possibly adding more shows. Um, I'm a loser. Okay. I'm a fucking loser. I'm not going to fight you, but what's up? I mean, I'm not going to. It's my first uh, time as a coach. You know? Oh, oh, yeah. Um, coaching our child's five-year-old soccer team mm-hmm. into the championship. Yep. Every game I coached, we won. Mm-hmm. And then I lost in the championship. Yep. I am a loser. Yeah. And that does not feel good. Okay. At all. Okay. Um, take it, I took it a little harder than I thought. Yeah, it was, um, <clears throat> you know, it was interesting to see that. Yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because you remember it. You remember what? That, that was the age that I started, I, that I remember sports and losing things. Mm, they didn't really know what was going on. So. No, you will later on. Okay. Like, so they're five. So for me, it's like they didn't really even understand what was going on and that it was the championship. They didn't even know it was the last game. Nope, they did. They did. So I had two parents come up to me afterwards and say, my son's going to cry his eyes out when he gets home. Like, he's, he's super upset. And I was like, eh, I understand it, you know? Um, but there was a couple, yes, there was a couple kids who did not know it was the championship. Yeah. But um, his parents knew. Mm-hmm. Players, a lot of players knew. And then as the coach, the big guy here, mm-hmm. uh, I knew, you know? And I thought this would be my first championship as a coach. You know, right. I had a lot as, as a youth and as a player. Um, wasn't meant to be. Right. Wasn't meant to be. You know, I think of my heroes, Urban Meyer, mm-hmm. uh, John Wooden, mm-hmm. Bobby Knights, championship coaches. Not amongst them. Right. I cannot walk amongst those men. Mm-hmm. I cannot dine at the same table as them because I'm not a championship coach. Okay. And it's, tough. it's a tough one for me to swallow. You know? Because yeah. you do remember as a, as a kid. Mm-hmm. My, my, my parents uh, just moved here. Mm-hmm. They'd saved some stuff of me as a child. Right. Th- there's a picture over there. Um, oh, that was me at six years old. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a, just a year older than our child. Right. Do you know that I still remember not making a tackle on someone in one of those games? I don't. Isn't that weird? I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't remember shit. Right. And you know me. Right. Like, you know me. Like, I can't remember someone's name mm-hmm. who I've met 30 times. But for whatever reason, like, six years old. I remember not making a tackle in one of those games. I remember the kid's name that I didn't tackle. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah. That's why things like this are important because you remember. This right. is the age where you start to remember things and you're like, shit. All right. Yeah. I mean, you can think of it a couple different ways of like remembering things and, uh, I guess for me, I wanted him to like remember having a good time and he did try like they they progressed <clears throat> so much. Great coach from the first game. Great coach to the last. Mm-hmm. I was disappointed in your attitude, to be completely honest with you. But Where are you? there's nothing I can do about it. Right. You need that. And then you also need the mom to be like, you know what? I heard you say yes, ma'am, to the ref. Yeah. And that to me was like. Hell yeah. yeah. And I told him that he did really well and wanted him to want to do it again. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, there's, oh, there's this fine it. line of like, he wanted if you to, he wants make to do it, it too devastating that they lost, they may not 
want to try again. I mean, I, you, there's no, different kinds I, of kids. You, so. hi, you hide your feelings, you know? You hide your feelings. You what? You hide your feelings from kids about d- being devastated, you know? Yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that you did that. I did that, yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and the beauty of it is, is the game-winning coach came over to me. Right. And, like, he knew, too. And that's the thing. I, I, it's, a, it's probably dudes, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but he knew, and he was just like, hey, man, great game. And uh, he was cool. He was a fucking cool guy. And uh, I yeah. was like, thanks, man, you son of a bitch. I was like, you get to be a champion all weekend. And he goes, well, I, 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 you get to be a champion for, for the rest of the year, you know? And he goes, well, I got to go work on Monday, and nobody's going to treat me like a goddamn champion there, you know? Right. We had a nice, really hearty chuckle together about it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's something amongst dudes. And you also... But you know, that's the balance, you know, that it's been tough to figure that out really and for moms and dads for couples you know you get so frustrated that dads are not as cuddly and as like sensitive and as but they both are really necessary so like you know when you hang out with dad you're gonna get toughened up when you hang out with mom you're gonna get like you know nurtured but you need both yeah, right yeah, yeah yeah absolutely so you do need someone to be like pissed at the five-year-old for making mistakes and then you need someone to be like it's all right buddy like you did awesome you tried really hard and you you know yeah but you can't just tell him that he tried really hard right so like i do believe that you need both yeah you do you have to um i right? did i did so one of the main things and this is this is a god's honest truth this is, is a dead story I mean, a, a dead serious story. I remember as a kid, there was things that I, you, as you get older, you go to like all-stars and things like that. And mm-hmm. it becomes the, like the, the coach picks, right? There's a couple times where I wasn't picked and, I, and it was a joke. Like it was the fucking best there was, right? Right. And I remember it. And um, <clears throat> what, I, what I always said was when I become a parent, like I'll be honest with kids' abilities and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, the, the best kid on our team, I went up and talked to his dad afterwards, and I was like, hey, man. Yeah. Your kid's got a le- legit shot to be like a... Absolutely. High school athlete. Absolutely. Uh, maybe, maybe scholarship for college. He was he a, a year been, younger. He was a year younger? He was four years old. No, he wasn't. He was. So it was four to six? Four to six. And That's a crazy gap, dude. Yeah. Once they get like the six to nine or six, seven, you can kind of, but... I don't know. And he was one of the, by the way, he was one of the kid. like afterwards, he was the one who was like going to cry and go home. And I was just like, man, it's four. Right. <clears throat> That's amazing. Um, but I, I did tell his parents, I was like, he's the best on the team. I was like, we wouldn't have gotten this far without him. And he was like, man, I really appreciate it. Like, no one's really that honest about things like that. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I am. I was like, I want to see people succeed. <laughs> and you need somebody to tell you how good it is. Because I think when it's your own kid, right? You're jaded about what they can and cannot do. A lot of parents are. We're not. <laughs> Me and you are not. Yeah, no. And Look, our kid is cute. That's what I can say for Great him. looking. Oh, great hair. I'm a charmed life. Yeah, real thick. There's a lot of things he can't do. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's okay because he will skate by. Yeah. On his looks, thankfully. So I told, this, I told his dad, you know, how great his kid was. And he goes, man, I really, really appreciate that. He goes, you know, you don't really know as a parent whether or not it's your kid and you think they're awesome or whatever. And I was like, no. And then I told him a couple of the stories that had gone on throughout the year. Some mm-hmm. of the parents had said about this, this kid, which was crazy to me. What did they say? Uh, so one of them wanted him benched for one of the games where they were like, hey, he's scoring too many goals. And, uh, and the other children aren't having any fun. And I was like, eh, that's life. Somebody's going to score all the goals. You do need to work. It's your job to you stop You do him. need to work on your rotation, to be well, honest. Now, look. Rotation was you, rotation for the championship. Sense, yeah. It makes sense that you put yourself in this Urban Meyer t- type of yeah. echelon already is because that's the way you were playing the five-year-olds. Um, <laughs> hey, so is the other coach. His rotation was on point. The way he emptied out the bench, he knew he was up by enough yeah. goals. Yeah, he was he, a good coach. I have to say, great. like, I, we when I coached that one time, it was great. <clears throat> it lost. was the two best in there. For lost, sure. and I was we played against him, and ah. I was like, dude, that is a coach. I yeah. mean, with the cones and the different drills, and like, he's a good coach. Good coach. Yeah. And so I, I told him, and uh, I was like, that rotation at the end, I was like, I tip, I tip him a cap. 
He realized he was up by a safe enough amount of goals so he could empty out the bench the last two minutes, put the So those the of kids you who aren't good in at there. home, if you're wondering how Ross would be as a coach, it's exactly what you think it yeah. would be. Yeah. So well, I'll just leave it at that. And I got a little insight. Your mom came. So I got a little insight to how <laughs> you uh, actually became the way that you are. Not at all. I, look. I mean, it was rough on the sidelines with old uh, grandma. Here's, here, here's um, what I'll say. And she was devastated. She couldn't even watch the, <coughs> the ceremony. For the second place trophy. For the second place trophy. Yeah. She left. She well, said, I can't watch this she came shit. Back. She came back. She had, to, uh, <laughs> she had to go put some chairs in the car. Sure, but sure, sure. At a, at it. a very... It sets you on a path in life of whether or not you want to be the best at something or whether or not you don't. Look, and like, I'm just saying, I got, I got that insight. I was like, okay. Yeah. That's where, you know, which I'm sure there's lots of weird things that my mom does that you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, obviously. where she gets that bullshit. Obviously. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, either way, I'm, I want to inform the audience I'm not a champion. Um, I will try again. I coach. I try to coach all of because we get a bunch of messages after the last one of like, "Hey, did you win?" Um, after the last show when I t- when I talked about it, no, we did not. And I, I I try to coach all my kids' stuff. Everybody's like, "Dude, I don't know where you find the time in your schedule." Well, it's your children, and you want to do it, so mm-hmm. I'll make the time and the energy and the sacrifice and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, I will. I will hoist that trophy on the next go round, whatever sport that is t ball is too young at this age you can't really do anything it's just like mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. can't grip the the the, the bat it's kind of like herding cats this age it's more soccer uh soccer is the one thing that you can tell the kids have a gist on where it's just like all right kick it run go towards the goal this end that end right pretty, pretty simple right right now right as you get older it gets more complicated obviously uh, but then baseball gets easier. Like once you figure out baseball, you're like, all right, it's great. You stand here, the ball comes to you. You throw it here, and you throw it here, and yeah. you're good. Um, basketball is too much at this age. I mean, they do lower the hoop, but yeah, they do. But you still have to dribble, and yeah, that's, that's a hard. whole. That's hard. It's hard. It's a hard, it's a hard thing for a five year old. So I don't know what the next sport's going to be. Probably soccer again coming up, and then next year you start getting into the good stuff. You know, well, baseball, yeah, yeah, basketball, yeah, yeah. all that yeah, other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, lacrosse isn't going to be a thing so no no we, uh, we are not a lacrosse family Mm-mm. and you can take your ass lacrosse the street <laughs> you, think something you like know that's what happen. i mean yeah um <clears throat> you, ooh, you get a little i'm uh, happy to be moving on from halloween how about you <laughs> well look it was on a thursday last week and my only regret they, they did give the, the kids the next day lot. off of school yeah um, but my only regret is we have rad neighbors. Right. I love hanging out with them. We had a huge party at our house. I, a lot of them would have kept the party going, and so would have I, I. Yeah. But, you know, you got work and all that shit the next day I had to work. Yeah. Um, and I, I think next year that it's on a Saturday, like, it's going to be balsamic. Right. Because, you know, usually, usually you grow up. And, you know, you're not in a neighborhood where everybody's friends with each other and all that other stuff. So you're like, eh, you go trick-or-treating, you come home, it's no big deal, right? Mm-hmm. You watch uh, it's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and then you move on with your day and start yeah. over. This, I, I actually enjoy hanging out with everybody, so I'd like to party with them. And I think that's, that's what caught me the next day where I was just like, oh, man. That you didn't get to <clears throat> hang out? No, that we did, but it was like, did I? Did we all start to go too hard and then I had to work the next day, you know? No, you don't regret that. Kind of. What going too hard? Because I, I, I wasn't feeling the best the next day. And I didn't oh, interview. yeah, 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 yeah. I had an interview the next day and, uh, you know, you're kind of fighting your way through it. Or you're just like, well, oh, when man. you have a cold or sick. I was sick, yeah, for a very like, long time doing that will Mm. take you farther down into the rabbit hole. For me, I want someone to dethrone Heidi Klum. And a couple people have been trying. Halsey, your girlfriend. Love her. What did she do? I think she threw a party on the same night and invited a lot of the same people. And that's the move, though. Yeah. Because I think Heidi Klum and her um, bullshit is fucking annoying. Well, Heidi Klum, if you don't know, throws his bash every year where she goes under she hires like professional professional Hollywood movie makeup it movie doesn't makeup even look like her she's basically just like whatever 
thing she wants to be from whatever movie she yeah. has the people come like the and literally just put yeah put on the exact the and yeah. she was like and then she stands on the red carpet and, and she doesn't want to smile or make any facial movements because it'll crack her latex whatever right. it is so i don't know what and kind she of was fun like, that I, is for I, her i was under 14 hours of makeup and mm-hmm. this is now my party mm-hmm. and you're just like oh great can't go to the bathroom. That's always a fun story that she likes to tell. The Hollywood and then Kendall shit to me. Kendall actually yeah. did it. Uh, she did it. She did like the party where everyone was at. Uh, Kardashians started putting on their outfits and celebrating on the twentieth. So they have, you know, like they have oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ten different fucking Halloween outfits. Yeah. yeah. I just want her to be dethroned. Mm. She just fucking she annoys will be. me, dude. Um, she's, I think she's in near, near in 50 now or, or at it. But like and what kind of third fun are you that having? Isn't seal. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the new husband or whatever, that guy just seems so gimpy. And, and he so, doesn't want to do it. And she's making him fucking do it and get in like the same the amount. Worst. It's the fucking worst. Of you ever, makeup. You ever date somebody who is super into Halloween and like they want you to p- play the characters and live that out? No, that's usually the girl, right? It, a girl or a guy I've, I've met plenty of dudes who are super into it and i'm just like man i have stop doing that i'm not gonna say <laughs> there was one in particular this year that like he posted something i was just like stop doing that mm. it was some obscure person and you're like man what are you what are you fucking doing and the people who were in character all night i can't i can't do oh with yeah that we were talking about that too and no. i just think like at a certain age this age and I'm grateful to have children. And I enjoy seeing them get dressed up. And like, yeah, so, you know, there was there was a couple of people on Instagram that were like, I'm shocked you didn't dress up for, for Halloween. I was like, because it's about my children, not about me anymore. Right. And then when it become when you get on that Heidi Klum bullshit, she's got like 90 kids. Yeah. What where, are they where, doing? Where, where are they at for Halloween? Where are they? Because you're at your stupid bullshit party. Like because you're getting no. 20 hours of makeup. Yeah, dude. It's, it's about the kids. And uh, I like the way you decorate and everything else. Anybody who takes Halloween too seriously and too is there characters seriously and that's their thing uh kim kardashian did a full video of her l woods costume mm. full video like hired the like people that did uh legally blonde like they they really have so many resources <laughs> like at their fingertips it's annoying you know i i went and to they a- use it i have to say they use it you I, know what I, I mean i went to one in hollywood one of those big to do things where everybody is dressed up like god i it, could I, not compete i'm gonna be honest with you i did not have that much fun um no there was fuck man it was in this uh god damn, paramount it was over at paramount they rented sound stages over at paramount you go you do the red carpet you do the whole thing and you get in there and everybody has tried so hard at whatever outfit that they were in you know that it was just like no nobody was really having fun because nobody would really it was like Heidi Klum you don't want to move around you don't, you don't want to break around. stuff you don't want to get makeup you can't on go people to the bathroom. You can't hug anyone you can't, you can't touch can't your face shake hands can do anything and then people were super offended by what we had done I, I took Dylan I took one of my buddies who was non-industry whatsoever and it was the year broke back was huge Oh. Yeah, so we did Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal, and we held hands That's walking in. really great. I thought it was a really hilarious. People did not find it as funny as I did. My sexuality is not your costume. I, I mean, guess, I get it. I guess. Um, a little bit. But. Either way. But then Kylie and what's-her-name do the Britney and Madonna kiss. Uh, do their whole thing yeah, 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 and the yeah. whole like they did the whole video again yeah they like hired the people that did the mtv movie awards to do this thing for their halloween costume yeah yeah just not fair no you know what i mean it's just not fair because if like let's just say i got invited to heidi Klum's. sure right wouldn't go obviously i wouldn't go fuck her right yeah i might go but i yeah. don't know how how do you compete? Like you have to spend thousands of dollars on a that's, costume, that's right? The gig, Jesse. That's the gig, right? Mm-hmm. And I just think that's like no fairsies. No, I need to be able to like go to a thrift store, piece some stuff together, and be mm-hmm. like, oh my god, you're blah blah blah. The, uh, there was a so back in the day, there was two Hollywood Halloween parties that were the greatest. Obviously, halves. Hugh Hefner used to throw one. Oh, right. That was rad and legendary, and everybody did that. I think this is why you have this new wave of like bullshit people doing it, because it's just like, yeah, you're trying to go back to a time that used to be. Problem is, man, it Hef's like, you know, you go do drugs and all that other shit, and it was 
whatever. Right. Rad. Um, now you can't really do that. So it's about the pictures and the Instagram mm-hmm. and all that other shit. Uh, there was another guy named Shane Black who's one of the best writers on the planet. Um, he wrote all the Lethal Weapons and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. and Okay. And he had one? He used to have a Halloween party every year. That was crazy. I mean, tables and tables full of drugs. And there was no paparazzi. There was no cameras. There was no nothing. It was just like, hey, man, let's get dressed up and really throw down and have an old school Halloween bash. And that I was rad. Think it's like, we can't do that anymore. No. Can't do that I just anymore. think it's like her reveal. It's just so pretentious bullshit. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> do you know what I mean? The whole party revolves around her and she always does some crazy reveal. Yeah. She comes out and there's smoke machines and there's thing and whatever. And there she is. Heidi Klum. Man. I, look, we'll, we can have a it's bitch. a whole generation of people that don't even know who the fuck you are. We can have a bitch fest today about everything if you want. Really go down that hole. Yeah, I think so. All right. Because I'll, I'll move on to mine. After that was because we were watching the same thing and then it re- like reverted over to like the news, you know? Mm-hmm. So the news was running in the background and I am so fucking sick of the news and everything that goes on. Now, it is so one-sided and everybody's out for this one exact narrative that like, I'm just personally fucking sick of it. I I saw the thing, the the thing that got me was the, the Trump getting booed at the UFC fight on Saturday night. Yeah, and you said you were watching, I was it, watching live, it live, and that didn't happen. Did not and happen. The video that they keep using is a guy in the upper deck who's booing into his camera, and it's like so you can only hear his him voice, and, his and then people kind of making noises, but you can't really make out what the noises are because he's yelling "boo" into his camera that he's whatever. Yes, and I'm sure there was a million people that took video footage, but every news outlet is using this one guy's. It's crazy. Cell phone footage I know of Trump, him booing I, I, into his phone. I know Trump reposted it today, like the actual video of what, what happened. And it's just like all of this shit, man. Like I, I'm watching it live. So are millions of other people who would, it was like everybody was amped for this USC fight. Right. All of us are watching this. Millions of pe- people. Like who are you? I guess, I guess you look at a fight like that. There's probably two million pay-per-view buys, right? Mm-hmm. I guess you're thinking to yourself, all right, there's 330 million in America. Who gives a fuck about 2 million? Let's go for the other 328, right? So we can create our own narrative and, and pass out the videos we want to pass out, write the stories we want to write. Mm-hmm. It sucks. Like, I, it, and all of it's untrue. And I, I hate, I don't, I don't know what to watch or believe anymore. It's fucking weird to me. Like, it's really, really fucking weird. Mm -hmm. Because they're, like, you think you're crazy, where it's like, I watched that fight and went to bed or anything, anything of it. Right. And then you're like, were they booing? Woke up the next morning to that story, and I was like, man, I'm, I was up. I was relatively sober. Like, yeah. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Um, I can't remember a time like this in my life where it's just the media against everyone all the way around, where it's like, man, I don't I, I, I don't know what to do. I really don't. Um, because I think more and more people are starting to get shut down if you don't agree with their opinions. And I, I again, man, we have a guest on. Well, this isn't airing until. Yeah, this is airing tomorrow night. So mm-hmm. I think it's the same time as the other episode is airing. Milo Yatnopoulos is mm-hmm. our guest on for Drinking Bros for 500. And he again gives a very stark warning of like hey man start getting a website backing all your shit up like they're slowly coming for you over and over and over again and i was just like man i look at the ratings on itunes like i i we taped that interview a couple weeks ago i I started looking into it on my own um the ratings aren't going up for either show and like itunes and shit like that Mm -hmm. and it's like we have millions and millions of listeners why Mm -hmm. why is that um that Time we did an Alex Jones episode, and it was just you and I talking about Alex Jones. We, we wasn't on the show. Yeah. Um, we got taken off the charts on iTunes, and it's like, I think there is other avenues, thankfully, that are going to be beyond iTunes, you know? And Spotify is really creeping the fuck up mm-hmm. there. 
um, and taking over most of the a lot of their audience right now. It's I mean you're almost at a fifty fifty heat here with with them, but um, I wonder how all of this is going to shake out with with everything across the board um, because. I think it's only going to get worse in everything that I'm seeing. Like the economy right now is dealing. Jobs report just came in last week. Lights out. Stock market is the highest it's ever been right now today. I, I don't give a fuck what you believe or, or not. I, don't, I just don't see anybody voting against him. Therefore, does this continue, this type of media and this coverage for four more years after this? And if so, I think it's awful. I think it's bad now. How much worse is it going to get? What are, what are we going to be able to watch? What are we going to be able to watch? Just physically view for news or something, right? Yeah. Somebody's got to create something. Like a real news outlet? Either a real news outlet, um, another Facebook. Is there, is there going to be, is somebody else going to build that finally? I, we've said this three years ago. Yeah. And I thought for sure I was wrong on this. I thought for sure it was like something else would pop up. It hasn't. Right. What is it? Where are people going to go? How is this all going to shake out? Because it, this is going to continue to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Like me sending out tweets or Facebook messages and shit. I know I'm shadow banned. Like I already know it. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to, you know. And they'll give you these reports too, which is the bitch of it. And they're like, your last message is going out to 14% of your audience. And you're like, oh. why? Limited. Why? Yeah. Um, so it's strange. Well, uh, for me, it's just gone to a place of no return. Um, and my uh, little brain can't handle that fact. Like you, like you say, uh, is that ever going to change? Uh, what can we believe? When is it going to end? Never. So, uh, for me, the little, my little brain is just like, well, I don't know. You can like, like that, like that video. Yes. For example, you knew they weren't bo booing. I, I did. So I think with rational people, you, you do know but he, the but truth. He, here's the so difference. So it's not like, what do we believe? Only, it's two, like, only you know. two million are watching that live. Everything else they're hearing about it is later. So, two, right. Two, no offense, and this is no offense to anybody out there, but two million isn't making a dent in America right now. But don't you look at things skeptic as a skeptic and go to different outlets and find the real answer? It just takes I, a lot longer. I do, but it, but there are ways for you to find the truth. But, the, but the, here's the difference: the, the places I'm going to find the truth, some of them are slanted as well. So I'm not getting the full truth; I'm getting their version of it. And that's what I hate. Um, fuck it, I'll just be totally honest with you. Since we're this episode is, is airing at the same time, uh, My, Milo Yatnopoulos, right? There may be some things that he said in the past that you're unhappy with, right? I get it. The dude's controversial. He's provocative, but he's, he's also an entertainer, and I take things like that with a grain of salt because it is entertaining. He is creating entertainment. Um, very similar to Alex Jones, right? Mm -hmm. now, if you're asking people to show up at somebody's house, shit like that, you can't do that, obviously. Mm -hmm. If you're sharing your opinion on the world or what shaped you as a person, I think Milo got in the hot water for the being 14 and having sex with an older dude. And he mm -hmm. was like, I'm glad, man, because it fucking helped me become more sexually advanced or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> was it true or not? I don't know. Either way, I, I, I laughed. To get as a joke, and I really didn't fucking care, right? Mm -hmm. He apparently had no issue with it. So, as a kid, and it did not affect his life. So, what the fuck ever? Mm -hmm. He is someone. And this is to go back to the top of the show that, that about adding people to a network. He is someone I would love to add to a network. Mm -hmm. Is that possible in today's world? Because no, you're going YouTube. Well, here's the thing: he's not banned on YouTube, and I looked at his shit earlier. He's not posted in a very long time. However, he is not banned. I think he is a very smart, entertaining guy. And whether or not you agree with his views or him or like him personally or whatever, it's entertainment. And that's what all of television and all of this shit is, podcasts, movies, everything across the board. 
I would love to. I, I would actually love to have him on our network. I really would. I look at it though, and I'm like, is there a shot that we'll all be banned because all of our now that we've combined, right? Mm-hmm. We're all in the same thing. Mm-hmm. Would one other show ban all of us on our network? Probably. Mm-hmm. And that sucks. Right. So where do you go? And this is a conversation. I because I ended up spending I don't know, four or five hours with him and. Off camera, great guy. Um, bro, we get along very well. And, and it's surprising because you look at him and you'd be like, there's no way. No way the two of you guys in real life get along. And it's just like, yeah, oh, yeah, we do. Like, uh, and I think he is somebody that has a, a very unique, special voice. Yeah. I would love to listen to that show once a week or twice a week or however long he did it. Um, but as a company, can you put somebody on but Air going like back that. to your no, going back to your point, it's like do you know everything that he talks about is skewed a certain way as well. So, but for the purpose of entertainment, he is not okay. On so that's that's fine. But a that's, trusted news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, that's different than what you were first saying about the news, which is like, where do you go? Who do you believe? And I think the <clears throat> answer is, uh you kind of trust your rational mind is the only way. So like I said, we didn't, I didn't fall for the booing video. Couldn't hear boos, Mm -hmm. like a big crowd booing. I could hear this one guy into his phone. My rational mind was like, that fucker's just, that's all I can hear. Right. Um, so we may just go back to like an Occam's razor thing where you're just like, that doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like that many people. And especially at a UFC fight, sorry, would be booing Trump. That was Elizabeth Warren um, rally. Sure. Yeah. I believe that right in my rational mind. So yeah, this thing of like, what do we believe? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's that, dire i think it has kind of forced us to think about things more whereas by the way fake news has been going on for ever with trump is the first time that we have actually been forced to use our minds in that way well because where somebody we and you're right you're right and, and somebody finally said it that's why said it mm-hmm. and things got revealed and we are forced to now think of things like again, use our rational, the rational part of our brain, and question the news and and go deeper and dig deeper if you want to and find the truth yourself. Um, whereas before we used to just blindly like, there's probably so many things that we believed before this time of fake news coming out there was. that were not true, yeah. and we just blindly kind of went along with it. Love or hate Trump, I do believe that he has forced us to actually be engaged, think about things, question the news, question something that's just thrown, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Question the media. And for that, it's actually a a good thing. And I think it has made them accountable. They're still on their same fucking bullshit, but we don't have to allow that. You know what I mean? We, if you're, you know, if you believe that, the fake news, which it's not a thing of believing, it is facts and it has been going on forever. So if you understand that, then you go to all the different outlets, you go on the internet, you read yourself, and you are educated. Because before we were just... Yeah. Uh, by, by the way... Blindly cir- going along. To circle back to my Milo thing, I, I'm, I look at all podcasts as entertainment. Like, we are not a news source. You should not trust me for news. Absolutely. Uh, or anyone else. Um, I, I look at the Milo thing as a fact of like, uh, for, just for entertainment, and this goes for movies and everything else, because I, I heard a thing, and we're going to ask him, uh, I heard a thing where Donnie O'Malley's movie got banned on Amazon. Um, Donnie O'Malley. Vet yeah, TV. Yeah, probably. Um, they have a movie coming out, and uh, I know we're going to chat about it on the other show, but um, that's where I think we're headed, and it sucks. Like, entertainment's entertainment, and I don't know why people's voices can't be but equal we have and out given, there and 
I also have to go back to, to the dystopian society that we're building for ourselves that if one, we made Amazon as big as it is, we made Apple as big as it is, and now they are taking over in the same way that a dictator is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They are now ruling us. They are now more powerful than the government. Yes. And they and, control everything and they happens. take away your freedom of speech. Yeah. And you say, oh, they they have a private company. They can do whatever they want. That company is so fucking huge. Yeah, they nuke everything. Yeah. That it is almost as bad as the government taking away your freedom of speech, right? Because yeah. it's every platform that everyone uses. Yeah. And we just blindly, Alexa, Google, ding, yeah. and we just blindly give it all to them. And they tell us what to do, what to watch, what we need to think, what we need to say, whether you're in entertainment or not. Just in general, they're blocking Donnie O'Malley's. They're saying that we are not allowed. We cannot handle it. Right. Yeah. As a society. Yeah. So we need to be careful. There is something as shitty as Bernie is, but there is something about taking down those companies a notch dude like it's fucking crazy and they're just getting bigger and they oh, don't look. pay taxes and it's just getting I know, crazy i know bernie is into it too I, I think that's probably the one thing that him and trump agree on is because trump is is the same way where it's just like hey man yeah. you guys are fucking controlling everything and shadow banning people and like yeah and not getting taxed yeah um but uh, it, it feels under the guise of oh, it, it's it all, our pri we're a private company. Don't they feel don't too big? To. No, yeah. Apple uh, in particular, I would say Google, Amazon, Apple, and Facebook. Because uh, Facebook owns Instagram. I would say Zuckerberg, mm -hmm. Bezos, and Cook. Right? If you think of it that way. It's Google, a lot Google owns scarier. YouTube and they control your searches. So 90, I, what was the stat? Like 93% of all searches go through Google. I know you were, you're a Bing person, but. Um, yeah, I do. I use Bing and Bing. Ask Jeeves. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I can never find anything, guys. I am married to Ask Jeeves until they get rid of that site. Um, <laughs> but they aren't one of the big three. I'm not sure why, but. Who? Google. No, they are. It's it's the, so it's the big four. Yeah, it's the big four. Okay, it's the big four for sure. Because they own YouTube and you know, yeah, and yeah, they, yeah, and yeah. they bought Fitbit last week for two point one billion. So have fun with that. Fitbit. You know why, don't you? Why? You want to fucking track where you are every second. Oh of yes, the day. yes, yes. It's and there, there's, there's that too. I want the Apple Watch. But I know. And you know, I don't care about that shit. No. It's like I know they're gonna rule the world Is that what you at want for some Christmas? point. No, I want a um, a smoker. Oh, I want a Traeger. Really, Traeger? 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 Are you out there? <laughs> Traeger hit up Drinking Bros. Um, I want a smoker. I'd love to have. I'd love to have Traeger as a sponsor. I want to start I'll, making I'll ribs and fucking smoke shit. Because you're co you're cooking Thanksgiving in uh in Xmas. Mountain yeah, Xmas. and so I'm. I do want to uh, smoke a turkey with like bourbon wood chips and like. So you want the ones with the the pellets? With the what? Uh, those wood chip pellets. Well, I want a place for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you have to buy it. So they come in two different. The smokers come in two different kinds. But uh, so if you want the pellets, you're going old school then. Yeah. Yeah. The trick. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So well, all of the Traegers, you there is a like pan or whatever correct. to put whatever flavored wood chips or whatever you yes. want in there. There so. is other smokers. So yeah, yeah. You're so specifically you want Traeger. I want a Traeger. Pellets, the whole thing. Only the best. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll see if Santa might be able to put that underneath. I mean, the, I can uh, do a cylinder. I mean, I could do a long. Because those are the too. ones I. Yeah, those are the ones I saw. That's what I'm talking about. Um, it's easier for a turkey, but I don't only want to do turkey. I want to do like everything, and I'm new at it, so I'm <clears> probably not saying the things right. But I do want to be a master smoker. Okay. Well, look. I want to enter, enter like a rib competition sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be great, actually. If you could cook ribs that would fall off the bone. That, that is the one. Like, I just need to get the recipe from Josiah. Those yes. ones that he made. <laughs> yes. Ridiculous. Yeah. Did he if smoke I, those? Yeah. In his Traeger, by the way. Did he really? Okay. He did. Because um, I'm a grill master. I'm great at everything grilling. 
the, my only difficulty that I've ever had is getting fall off the bone ribs. That is an art form and it takes a long time. Yeah. And it's finding the right rib too. Like there's so many oh, yeah. different kinds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've had some for Christmas a couple of times and like trying hit and miss hit and miss because of like the fat and I don't know you guys I'm sure all of you at home know way more than I do send me any tips you want but um that's my new adventure if I get the Traeger yeah I look we I'm look I I heard the green egg by the way I heard the green egg is like awesome I don't like the look of it and it's super super expensive I think the Traeger is more I don't know. It is it, the green it's egg like, is expensive. Uh huh. How much know. is that fucking thing? It looks like shit. It just is like. I I'm not know. a Carson Daly likes it, which means I can't like it. Um, he's a dick. It's really funny. Oh, I'm. I, I see this thing. Yeah, this green egg thing. Eh, is fine. it super or is it still in line? It's probably in line with the other ones. I just don't. I don't know. You can, People are like, you can, you can bake cookies on there. And I go, no, I'll just bake cookies in my oven and I'll fucking smoke some ribs in my smoker. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, there's a, there's a cheaper one for like 165 There's one for 665 these green egg things. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. The bi- so the bigger one that you can actually fit shit on, I think, is the 600 right? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. With like the lip around the side and everything. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Um, and then there's the Kamado Joe. Classic. Are these all green egg? It, it is. Uh, it looks like a green egg. This one's red. So. No, I don't like that. I like Traeger. a black. Tried and true Traeger. Like the Traeger with the like smoke thing out the front. The black like round. Hell like yeah. it looks like it was back in the old days when they used to cut up a fucking. Yeah. Steel drum. Like I like that shit. All right. So whatever. That's I guess what I want for Christmas. <laughs> is that what you were asking? That's where it started. Yeah, it is. Uh, one more thing that I'm excited about before we get to sponsors uh, is Dr. Phil landed the interview with that Ukrainian midget. Sorry, not midget. Little person. Little person, yeah. <laughs> yep. That fooled that family. Remember we talked about oh, it on Drinking yeah, Bros. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, crazy yeah. fucking story for anyone that didn't hear. Uh, that's great. The fake news is this. First of all, this couple in Indiana was uh, accused of abandoning their adopted daughter. And as things started to come out, uh, they found out that she was actually a woman. Mm -hmm. She was a little person that was posing as a child. And she may be in her mid-30s even and was like trying to harm the family. And they just fucking bounced on her, dude. That was the only thing. But she was... They got like a bone, however they bone density test and like found out that she was definitely, if not 20, could be 20s or mid 30s from this test. (laughs) Right. And she had like full on pubes and stuff. They're like, dude, this kid's supposed to be like six or something. Anyway, Dr. Phil got the interview and I am here for that weird ass shit. Um, let's see when it's going to air. November 7th. Ooh, it's coming so up. So this will, is this at the same time that this is coming out? No, you'll have two days. Uh, this airs on the, the night of the 5th, so. Okay, so then we can talk about it on the next one. Yeah. Check it out, guys. I, that one, that was the most intriguing story ever. And I'm just curious how the parents were fooled for so long. Well, yeah. you have to talk like a fucking baby. You have to talk like a baby. Again, they bathed her full on bush. You know what I mean? Like Oof. vocabulary of a older person. Why didn't she shave her bush? I mean, well, then you have to buy your six year old the catch her shave in her bush. I mean, yeah, but why that's your kid. Like I, you have to stay with them at, at all I understand times. That. I understand that, James. But She's not like an older girl. They're like, go ahead, take this razor into the, or whatever. No, you know? I understand. But if, if, if I'm like, her, shave it before it's going to grow. Yeah. But if I'm her, like, hey, man, I want to keep this lie going. I'm going to, uh-huh. I'm going to shave that bush. Yeah. But then you have to continue shaving it and finding, like, let's, for example, if my son, my five year old, yeah, wanted to shave. Sure. I don't know when he would have the time to do that. 
when we're not near the bathroom or whatever, like let's say he was just like, hey, I got to go potty real quick, you know? Boom, shave it up. Shave up that bush, girlfriend. Maybe, but even when he's in the bathroom too long, I'm like, buddy, what's up? Like, you know, you're yeah. on, like at that age yeah. and even younger, like yeah. you're with, th- you're with them all the time. Even when he goes to the bathroom, I'm like, are you okay? Yeah. Like, you know, it's six though. Woo. And how do you get the Woo. razor in to the, anyways, like it's I hear in the what bathroom. you're saying. It should be, you go into the parents' bathroom and then use their razors to shave your bush. Yeah. I mean, I look, that, not, but not, that you're going to get found out. Do you know what I'm saying? Sooner or later. I think so, but that at least extends your time there. So I guess she's crazy is the idea. No. Yeah, mental issues. <laughs> I know you're thinking, what? Um, so, so this interview is going to be fucking nuts, by the way. Yeah. She's nuts. And, and people that go on these shows and think like, I got him fooled, like Lance Armstrong or something. And you're like, nah. No. No. I hope it Dr. Didn't work, bro. brings that up, though. I want to know about the bush shaving. Yeah. Like, is that well, ever a possibility? I'm sure he will. He'll say something like, and they notice her pubic hair. Now, how did you think right. the parents would react to all that pubic hair down there? Right. Like, that's what I want to hear, where it's just like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Like that, if that's the promo lead in on TV, mm-hmm. locked. I think, yeah, I don't think it is, but yeah. Now I would have thought if I saw pubic hair, I, I would smell fire. Right. You know, mm-hmm. whatever his, because he's going to have some form of catchphrase behind it, you know? Catchphrase for the interview? Yeah, you know how Dr. Phil is always like the, whenever it's a you gotcha moment, he's got a big phrase for it. Okay, yeah. You know? It's some kind of southern. Now, you can't be riding around on a unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it doesn't have a horn through its forehead. Yeah, yeah. What were you doing in there? Like, that's what I... I'm waiting for that. Mm -hmm. And if if he drops it on the bush line... Jabes? Yeah, he probably won't, but yeah. No, 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 I hear you. That's where I will bravo Dr. Phil. Yeah. You know? Yeah. One bird in the hand... Isn't worth two in the bush. <laughs> like that's what I want. That's oh, what I about the bush. Blammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blammo. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I want yeah. from Doctor Phil. Maybe tweet him some questions. You know that you might. That's that a gr- you want that is a great question. Uh, that is a great suggestion. Idea. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder what Doctor. I want. Do you think Doctor Phil's a big Twitter guy? I doubt it. He is now. I think. So he's like huge into podcasts now. He's got his finger on the pulse of the uh, of what he needs to do. One point six million followers for Doctor Phil in the uh, in the lexicon. Mm. Yeah, man. He went on Rogan. Like he knows what he's oh, doing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No, he's uh, fill in the blanks. Is his? Uh, he's doing retweets from Rihanna. Like he's is in there. His podcast. Fill oh, in the here blanks. It is. So he's got it. Fill in the blanks. Um, Fill in the blanks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I caught. I caught all that. I caught. I definitely caught that. I don't love a play on words podcast name, but that's just me. Is that his podcast? Fill in the blanks. Yeah. I'll give him a fucking follow here. Um, so yeah. So he just posted. He'll well, be so excited to see your People name Magazine. On there. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he will. Yeah. Verified is verified. Any sure. blue check mark would be like, all right, yeah, so yeah, must yeah, be yeah, legit. Yeah, yeah, he may go on. He may come on. People, I, you know what? I think he would actually. And I think he would. Like fifty different people have suggested him. I think it would be. He must have. Awesome so, he interview. has some. He does podcasts. Team. So he did. Uh, he did Amanda Cerny's actually, and then she did his fucking show. Yeah. Yeah. So he does podcasts. That's what I was just telling you, though. No, I know, but um, until you said it, it didn't really trigger. Where it was like, ah, mm-hmm. yeah, he actually does. Yeah. Um. He has two of his own that are really high on the charts. And then he did the circuit, uh, like I said, Rogan. Boom. He knows what he's fucking doing. Yeah, he does. Ukrainian adoptee allegedly abandoned by an uh, Indiana couple is, is opening up on November 7th. So he just tweeted this. And this is the exclusive promo actually went to People magazine. Mm. So, oh, boy. I, I, we got to know now. We got to know, Javes. 
about that this book. is ross and jesse look at the internet i gotta know Jesus. if he had a catchphrase for this this promo that is usually what it is you know what i'm saying um so we'll get through this little 15 second ad here but i, I like he usually go they usually go in with a banger and you know they zoom in close to his face right on, on those catchphrases it's gotta be right because <sighs> I, I remember you doing this story mm-hmm. um this was one of your big ones and i'm proud of you for that <laughs> well yeah you 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 were on the cutting edge of well it got sent to me by a detective but then we also did it on yeah. the fake news like we were covering this story really hard because it was awesome and i thought it went away and it did not um but i'm looking at this girl and it's the first time i'm seeing her talk in an interview She's not fucking six years old. Like, no, nobody's thinking that she's six anymore. R- no, I know anymore. Oh, oh, okay. How did they ever though? No. I hope there's videos of her pretending to be six on this show that the parents are able to show. <gasps> and then, how long did it go on for? Is the other thing like how long was she um, living with the, the the parents? I don't think it was that long before they were like, "Holy shit!" And she was trying to harm them. Mm. And they kept trying to get them her help, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when they found out that she was older, they were like, okay, and they put her in a um, facility, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. mental type yeah. rehab, whatever. And she got out of there, and then they were worried that she was going to do it to someone else, which she's holding someone's hand in this picture for Dr. Phil. It's an older lady's hand. Okay. So, is this the new family that has adopted her? Boy. Is the, I don't know. I, that one hand right there, mm. if you guys are looking this up, mm. who, who is vouching for this crazy I person? I don't know. And don't what know. is she going to say? That's the thing. Are you going to try and, what are you going to say? Are you going to be like, this is what I did. I'm sorry. This is what I needed to do. Or are you going to say, I was six and now I'm seven? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Or like I was six and now I'm eight. Right? That's what I would love for her to keep it up. No, I'm 14 oh, now. You know what I mean? Man, man. This is so good, dude. I don't I don't know. Oh I'm into it. Anyways, we'll have more to report on that. So what we'll do show. and yeah, on the video show, we'll pop this in so you can see it and then try to pop in the audio right here. Mark that time code. Because there is other pictures where it's like, man, I'm, I'm like, I'm breezing through it now. There is other pictures where she kind of looks six. Fuck me, man. Yeah, well, when, in the first reporting of this, th- those were the pictures they were showing. They were showing the mug shots of the parents mm. and her looking like a kid. And yeah. the first reporting of it was these horrible parents that left their six-year-old in an apartment for a year. Right. And they were arrested. You guys like they were fully charged and everything else had to come out after that. But my God, man. I mean, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I love it so much. So do I, man. I love it so much. And again, I look at this as entertainment. Whereas you could block this if you wanted to. You'd be like, this is stupid. We're going to block this. Right. If you wanted. But it's just but this is a real story. So you can't really. No, I, I know it is, but yeah, like, yeah. this is great. This is what makes America great. I just think real life Dr. is Phil so is gonna get, much crazier. Yeah, Dr. Phil's going to get to the bottom of this shit. Yeah. Remember when he um, interviewed ben- John Benet Ramsey's? Yeah, JBR, the, whole, that, the brother. The brother. Yeah. Who did it, by That's the great. way. Great. Well, I can't really say that because he's suing everybody who is. So maybe say uh, that you think he, he did possibly. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly he did it. That would be great. It would really boost us if he came after us. Wow. <laughs> uh, that would be a tough one because there is, we cannot prove that one. Now this one you can absolutely prove. Show me that bush. Ukrainian girl, you know, <sighs> 22, 23 years I old. can't wait, dude. People don't know. It's great. Maybe. We're going to cut that in. We get some sponsors, James. We just went off today. Went we'll right off the rails. Pay for this fucking show to be on the air. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. 
Sleep so good, it's scary. I'm gonna look at um, I'm gonna look at uh, their site, man, and see if if they're they're still giving those Halloween deals. If so, those are the ones people are going berserk over. Berserker. Oh, berserker. Uh, yes, the Halloween sale is still going on right now. Boom, that's great. And then they're gonna have another that's one. The on Black only Friday. Halloween thing I don't want to move on from. I know. I know. Everything else, I think I'm done. Nine ninety nine off a bundle package. Jesus, man. I don't know how they're doing this. Uh, either way, they're the the thirty six month pay as you go program. No interest. Thirty eight bucks a month. How are they doing that as well? It's crazy over at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Go there now. If you're a military or first responder, you get fifteen uh, percent off of everything in the store. If you're a regular human like myself, these deals are almost just as good. Almost feel just as important mm. um, with these Halloween deals. Shit. Yeah. Uh, get on down, man. I've got to get the adjustable base. Gots to. Because we're going to trade in and get a king instead of cow king, you know? Yeah, and we're going to have to get the two sides. Floppers. Mm-hmm. Because you'll want to stay up and watch TV and I'll want to go. That's too weird then. That's going to be a crease in the bed. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're going to want to go down. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get on these deals before this Halloween deal disappears. I know there'll be another one though, Black Friday. Um, speaking of that, Chernobyl last night. Chernobyl. Chernobyl, dude. dude. You, you ditched out of that and that was surprising. I watched one. I watched one, but. It was 9.30 and you dipped out of it. Like, I don't know how you turn your back on Chernobyl like that. <laughs> I have two kids. How many do you have? Two, same amount. Um, oh, okay. I don't require 19 hours of sleep a day, but... You don't get up with them either. I do. I actually do get up with them. No, you don't. Every time. No, you don't get up with the kids at night. I get up... Oh, at nights. Yes. Well, th- th- there's nothing I can do. They want mom. I want the fucking milk, you know? I can't and provide that. Bottle. Yeah. I don't breast, haven't breastfed for well, a year. You do and you don't. Uh, they want mom at that age. They sure. want nothing to do with dad. Not once. Um, not once. That's not true. Got that. That's not true. At night. Um, either way, turn your back on Chernobyl. Oh, okay. Things happened last night. And mm. uh, I'm down it to was one. rough. Down to one episode. You're having a hard time with this series. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, but the makeup is Oof. really good Man. whoever their fucking special effects makeup is <laughs> holy shit and give them all the awards it's just so intense it's so intense i can't it is it's hard i got one more left um, it's hard go on the last one with me and not the other one mm. the other one's more it's it's what you thought just more yeah that lady didn't have that baby you know didn't have it no Dude, you can't fucking touch radioactive people and shit. Oh, you lose the baby. I thought the baby was going to come out deformed or something. No, no, you just uh, nukes everything. Oh, okay. That's why what they tell you, you know, if you're pregnant, don't get those x-rays and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's a simple x-ray. Imagine being next to Chernobyl. Forget it. I knew that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a spoiler. Um, but, uh, man, it's a crazy series. Crazy series. You dipped out. That's the thing is like then... Your bed would go down. Yeah. You'd have to press that button. Mm-hmm. Go down. Yep, and I'm still up. <laughs> uh, where's my wife? Uh, she's down. Uh. Yeah. Um, next up, we get strikeforceenergy.com. Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Want to tell everybody that I, I've been pitching the White Claw, right? Mm-hmm. Pitch in the White Claw, put the Strike Force in the White Claw. You had no other option. It strengthens it up. The seltzer is the thing now, whatever. I got an option now. I got an option now. Now we got a better option. <laughs> so now I can go back to the Ridge and uh, put that in Natty Light Seltzer. I'm on that train, dude. I am on the Natty Light Seltzer train. It is 6%. That's where White Claw is five. I need it to be. Because wine is 14. And it tastes, it's got a, a stronger taste. So, yeah. There we go. Um, I'm, I, I got to do, I got to figure out a way to get on this. I want in on Natty now. Mm-hmm. I want in on Natty. Yeah. I was a Natty boy as a child. Everybody, that's all you could afford, man. 
Is that what you called your guys yourself? The Natty Boys? No. The Natty Boys? <laughs> Drinking that boy juice. You're like, beat it, nerd. We're the Natty Boys. And I'm drinking that boy juice. And we're drinking our boy juice. We're getting all hopped up on boy juice. No, that's all you could afford in high school oh, and college. Okay. So uh, the only the only problem with it I had was it wasn't strong enough. I was mm. just like, yeah, let's, let's step up the juice. Mm. And then they did with uh, Natural Lights. Was it Platinum or whatever the fuck it was? Platinum? Yeah, it wasn't that. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Either way. Seltzer, they come out out of the gates hard at six, where you're just like, all right, cool. The only one left in this gaggle of shit is uh, the only unknown is Four Loco, so we'll see what happens with that. Their taste is going to be what the real issue is, because it's 14, right? It's supposed Four- to be 14, 14. But, he- but here's the thing. The real Four Loco has carbs and sugars and shit, so like Seltzer does not, and that's the thing with Seltzer, right? Right. So- I don't know how you get it to 14 without no taste. It's going to be interesting, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I think my prediction mm-hmm. is that it's going to be a very diet taste, which you like and don't mind. Yeah. I think they're going to use a lot of like stevia and like fake sugars and stuff yeah. like that and for anything, the flavor. You know. And who cares? Sprinkle a little Chernobyl in there. I don't give a shit. Yeah, exactly. Um, as long as it goes down the old gullet, daddy can have a good time. I'm fine with it. Either or. Put a little original strike force in there. What and do you uh, have? I'm back on the ridge. What do you have in your mouth? I got a holes. Do you have one? Throat lozenge uh, for myself. An extra one? No, I don't. Oh. Just brought one for me. I didn't know oh. if you were going through anything. No, 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 no. Which is a little rugged last couple yeah. weeks. It's back now. I feel good. good. Thanks. Good. Uh, you should feel great at strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION 20% off, 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottles. Holidays. This is now where you're going to need this shit because you got all the relatives coming in. Blee, blee, blee. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, last but not least, straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you right, kids? Yeah. Yeah, you do. <coughs> this should be the sponsor of that Dr. Phil show. Shaving. Oh. Ukrainian bushes, 23-year-old Ukrainian bushes. Dude, 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 dude. If you're trying. You too can pretend you're a six-year-old. Yep. If you go to straightrazors.com yep. and uh, just shave, keep your bush shaved. That'll probably, if you have younger features, you know, if you're a dwarf. Yeah. You could fool if that family If she would have just longer. worked on her vocabulary and shaved that bush, mm-hmm. she would still be with that family. I wonder if she Or just... she would have been able to kill him and get. Whatever she was trying to I get. Wonder, from I it. wonder if she just said something, you know, like just in the middle of a conversation where they were like, hey, do you want mac and cheese? Do you want mac and cheese? And then finally she's looked at him and she was like, no, bitch. I don't want any fucking mac and cheese, dude. Right. I'm trying to watch Real Housewives. Yeah. Take your shit and get so out of my face. So tired of your shit. Yeah. Could you imagine that? You think you're talking to a six year old the whole time and then they just flip and start oh talking God. like that? <laughs> That's freaky. Be rad. One of the questions I want to know, Dr. Phil, do not let me down. Straightrazors.com won't. They will not let you down. Why don't you at him? Finest products in the biz for men and Ukrainian dwarves. Go to straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Get yourself a kit. Get a kit. Christmas is coming up around the bend. Can't believe it. It's November 4th. Yeah. Somebody posted today that it's... uh, one year from today will be the election. Ooh. 2020. Crazy, right? Very crazy. One year, and I was like, oh, shit. Mm. Um, a lot of things can happen. Oh, my gosh. A lot of things can happen from yeah. now to then. It was Lots. funny. I, I saw... Uh, <laughs> you saw? I saw... Uh, or you Trump, saw? Uh, I think by Trump Jr. that just said that He was the one who said, hey, man, it's, it's one year from today, and I can't wait to win just because then I know that the next four years are going to be misery for, for these fucking people. That's what he said? Yeah. And it, was, it made me laugh harder than anything. And, but here's the weird thing about it is when I, the more and more I thought about it, I think that's a lot of people's sentiments where it's just like, God damn it, man. I'm so, I've hated hearing people bitch for the last three years. Yeah. That they're like, man, I, want him, I just want them to win so that way there's nothing you can do. It's a full eight at that point. Right. You'd have to kill them. 
or something. Nothing you can do. And that would be the ultimate victory, and it might. Somebody else at a function over the weekend had told me, because people come up and whisper shit to me about Trump, and I get that all the time. And somebody else told me that Deborah Messing was in, uh, you know, she's the one who bitches all the time about all this shit. She's a Scientologist. Does that make sense? It can't make sense. Why? You don't realize you're in some crazy fucking religion that's totally made up? No, and they don't. That's nuts, man. That's the point. I think so. Like I've said before about you should, Scientology, you flag that. what you should flag people like that then, right? But um, the thing about Scientology is they keep the celebrities shielded from all of that, mm. and because they need faces like that. <clears throat> so Tom Cruise didn't see any of that fucking bullshit. Do you know what I mean? He was told by other people, and the point is that like people are going to want to tell you bad things about your religion. That's with every religion. Christians are told the same thing. There's going to be naysayers. There's yeah. going to be people that don't believe, right? So the thing with the celebrities is that the, they never get to see that. Hmm. Crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Shia LaBeouf, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, his Hot Ones episode, and I know we keep referencing it. I actually love the show. I don't mind it. Um, his Hot Ones episode exploded to like 11 million views. We haven't seen it yet. Um, I don't. Either way, love seeing him in real life. Uh, so this is Actually, this like, is what I'm this is what I'm talking about today. Um, he's been going. I guess he's been going on this like apology tour, and he won an award last night for Honey Boy. Mm-hmm. And uh, ironically, Robert Downey Jr. gave him the award. Which let's face it, there's very Parallel. similar. Yeah parallels there mm-hmm. uh and he said robert downey jr was like this is and he, he won it for writing for screenplay because mm-hmm. the, the movie honey boy is about his father the way he treated him as a kid okay and he's playing his father in this okay robert downey jr's words were this is as close to a perfect script as i feel that one has possibly gotten uh he gets up to accept this award last night and the first person he thanked was the police officer in Georgia who arrested him in 2017 because he said it saved his life. Okay. So. That's when he was shooting Peanut Butter Falcon. Ah. And they had to. <laughs> subdue him. Production yeah, on yeah, that yeah, yeah. for when well, that's an indie. So it's sort of like, fuck Yikes. you, dude. But, hey. <clears throat> So he's what, sober now? What do you mean it saved yeah. his life? Okay. He's sober. He says he's got a sober coach, a life coach. Went into all of it and just said on stage last night and just said, hey, man, I was going to die. Like if, if I didn't get arrested, I would have died. If I didn't go to rehab and do all the shit, like I would have been dead. And I'm grateful for it. And um, okay. So who knows, man? Little turnaround for shies, shy guys. Yeah. I mean... I like my celebrities to party, you know? I like them to have a little darkness. Affleck. Come on! After Robert Downey got sober, what did he do? Iron Man. And it's like Ally really McBeal. a lot of money for him. Yeah. Um, but he's he is not... fucking crazy rich. He is not the person that <laughs> he was before, correct? Yes. He does not make edgy content anymore. So will, it, will Shia go the way... Of Robert Downey? I don't know. I don't either. I hope not. Because Shia is actually a really here's talented the is, motherfucker. Yeah, and it, but here's the difference. He already did Transformers and all that shit, so, you know. Right, but then he also did all these other things. Honey Boy, Peanut Butter Falcon. Like. No, 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 but he has the money. So that's what I'm saying. So he's got the Transformers money, right? Uh-huh. So he should be good. Like, if he signs up for a superhero movie, I'd be, come on, man. You know? I think the thing is with those is that they like keep you in line, right? Steady employment. You're bound to them for years. Years. Yeah. Um, whereas like a little independent that's shooting in Savannah, whew, there's a lot of leeway down there. Oh. Right? Mm. <laughs> a lot of party time. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, that Kanye album, by the way, came out at number one. He just tied the record for most number one albums in a row ninth consecutive for that jesus is king album man i like it i like a couple songs yeah like a few songs yeah that's i told you it was an incomplete album but uh it was number one can't stop that guy no it's crazy 
Uh, do you have a crime corner? I do. You really? Yeah. Crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. So I heard this one, found this one around Halloween because. Okay. And it was really disturbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, (laughs) Iowa man walks down to his basement to find it flooded with blood. Five inches. Five inches at his house. Five inches of blood. Okay. What do you wreck? What what would you say? In the basement? (laughs) In the basement. Or is this like a second story? No, in his basement. He walked down to the basement. Oh, yikes. Uh, Five inches is a lot of blood. It's a lot of blood. Um, Obviously, I've been flooded. So I know how much that is. Um, Five inches full of blood. Five inches. All right, I'll just tell you. Five inches of blood, fat, and other animal tissue flooding his family's basement. I don't know. I don't have an answer for this. Which is about 45 miles northwest of Des Moines. Um, He told the register that he hasn't been able to clean it up because it's still just seeping in. So it's still like seeping in, seeping into his basement. Okay. So they found out that the waste is coming from a neighboring uh, meat locker. Okay. Where the blood and tissue from slaughtered animals was washed down a drain. Yep. Officials say a clog or break in the pipe sent the waste right into Listina's, that's the guy's name, uh, his last name, Nick Listina, sent it right into his basement through a floor drain. Uh, State environmental (laughs) specialists trace the waste to Dahl's Custom Meat Locker and says the company is now pumping it into a large tank. Uh, the, The Listina family needless to say has moved into in with a relative for yeah, a while and it's yeah, yeah, around yeah, 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 Halloween. Yeah. Can you fucking imagine the 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 smell of it. The smell, the thing of like, what is this? Like water like going down and being like, what in, what's going on and having it be just blood. And yeah. Guts. Oh God. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, Here, here's the thing. How are you living that close to a meat locker? Like a meat meat store. store. I mean, yeah, that's weird, right? I guess, but it would have to be like a city. I mean, it's Iowa. I don't know, rural so, area, and it's like on the hill above you. Somebody sent me, or they were talking about getting a beach house down mm. in uh, Carolina Beach. Mm. They were like, "Man, the deal of this is amazing. It is literally on the sand or whatever." And I was like. I was like, oh, yeah, that is, a, I was like, that is a great price. I was like, what's, what's wrong with it? Right. And he goes, what do you mean what's wrong with it? And I was like, well, something has to be. Something has to be wrong with it, especially. Out there. There's a, gi- a gigantic hotel and restaurant next door. I mean, literally like 20 yards away. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, man, that's a little too close for comfort for a hotel, right? Now, if yeah. I am living in a house and I see, I don't know, let's just say a meat packing or sure. processing place next door, that is not you something you I think even I consider like to move into. I like meat. I'll be right next door. But you got to process it. To the meat place. You got to process it. It's got to go somewhere. You wouldn't think that it would flood your basement with blood. Would you? If you're that, yeah. If you're that close, you're I guess you close. run the risk. Yeah. Ugh. Risk versus reward. Though. I'd like, love get to a see sausage, a photo Get a sausage at a moment's notice. Or. Don't mind that. Love a good know? sausage, yeah. Just be able to like pop on over go right next door for a sausage. Yeah. But uh, that's real close. It's real close. Dude, that, I, I'm sure you would hear the animals being slaughtered too, right? Oh, you're yeah. close. Yeah. You're too close at that point. Right. So what I'm saying blood. is this blood in the basement yep. around Halloween. If you got blood in the basement. Yeah. Around Halloween. Mm. You move too close to a meat packing place. I kind of put that on the people, not on the, the meat packers. 
Yeah, I didn't. I didn't put processors. it on anyone. I just thought it was like the worst situation that could ever happen. It is, but <laughs> I, you know, you, I like to try to figure with these crime corners. I like to try to figure out why and how, uh-huh. and that's that's where I go on that one. Is like, how could this have been prevented? Right. Don't fucking move next door to a a meat processing plant. And that's fair. Yeah, that's you know? fair. Anywhere else? Mm-hmm. Literally anywhere else. Literally. Besides that. Yeah. It's like living next door to a gas station or something. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Or a boat ramp. Mm. And all you hear is, blah, 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 you know? Mm-hmm. People trying to get their fucking boats in the water. Too close. You knew better. You knew better. Well, look, live and learn, I guess. Yeah. Five inches of blood will do that for you. I wonder where they moved to. Huh, they're just staying at a relative's while it's getting like cleaned up okay. and pumping it out. Oh, so they're going to move back in eventually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're not selling. <laughs> not in this market. Market's fine. No that one's story's in the, everywhere. No, no one's in the no market No one's going to be buying. Uh, a blood, hombre. Blood basement? Yeah. Ugh. Shit. Five inches of blood? I try to get five inches of water. I try to get five inches of water out of your house. That's a mm. lot. Let alone blood, like blood, you just give up. Yeah. What if you had white carpet downstairs? Berber. Probably not, but. What if you had Berber downstairs, you know? Probably not. No? No. All right. Anyways. So says you. Anyways. So says you. Um, how, how are you feeling over there? Good. Yeah, you are. Cuba. Cuba Gooding. <laughs> Ten more people came out. He's no got way. 13 gals. You know, here's the thing with Cuba. And video. <laughs> yeah. Here, what's the thing with Cuba? He parties, right? He fucking rages, dude. He rages. He taps butts. He grabs boobs. And, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what the... Uh, punishment is going to be for that but he's really going he's going not guilty with all these he gets here's the real the real shit about cuba he gets rocked yeah so i've heard everywhere. and it looks like in all the videos that these gals have the the when he spun around on his head after he won the oscar for jerry Maguire, mm-hmm. that is him in real life he likes right. to have a good time likes to party he enjoys being. No one enjoys being Cuba Gooding Jr. more than Cuba Gooding Jr. Sure, and I and I get that. The problem is he probably gets a little handsy at night, mm-hmm. you know. But and I think that is the problem. Well, uh, here's the 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 other side of that. There's a lot of people that want to get handsy with Cuba Gooding Jr. at night, so it's a good story to tell, right? Um. Yeah, and I guess these are just the stories of the people that didn't want it. Well, I, here's the thing. I so I saw the first two or three videos. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I didn't see anything. Did you? You watched. You watched two of them with me. I watched the one where he grabbed the boob and yeah, it was it, sort of like, I don't know, you can't really make it, it out. It appeared as if she asked one. him to do it and then they hung out and then they went to like three other bars later that night and it was just like, what are you doing? Right. I think the waitress one where he grabs her ass. Now that you can't do. Especially not at Tao nightclub, but yeah. Oh, is that where that one was? Mm-hmm. They have a video of that? Yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to pop for that one then. Those, it's not pop though. It's sort of like what is the punishment? It just needs to stop. That's all. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. just sort of like I don't know what the punishment is, but at least with all of these coming out, he probably won't do it anymore. No. And I think that's the goal, right? I, I think and Tal it's the should goal. start with a nice band of Cuba Gooding Jr. Obviously. Sure. And um, there's stuff like this that is just sort of a message, right? Mm-hmm. That's like, hey. You can't really do this stuff back in the day. You used to be able to do these stuff, and you've accumulated 13 different yeah. victims, if you will. Yeah. And these are only the people that, you know, are able to come forward or that have video or that it was egregious enough to them sure. that it happened. No, but, I get it. Um, yeah, I don't know about jail time or anything like that. I just sort of think that he needs to stop. Goops. Because he's a creep. He, he definitely comes off as a creepy. A creepist. Not a rapist. He's not fucking raping people. He's kind of creepy. He's just kind of creepy. And yeah. he definitely, like you said, he loves being Cuba, right? Yeah. And he gets wasted. wasted. So he feels like everything is 
at his disposal. Sure, sure. And sure. so I think that just needs to be taken down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A notch, which is probably whatever. what will again, he shouldn't be shit. canceled, any of that, but I think this will show him a little bit. Like yeah. that's a no. We're not gonna uh, do that the, anymore. Just a heads up for anybody, waitresses in Vegas are never having your shit. Um they usually do it as a profession where it's just And they like, make probably more than you do. Yep. Their houses are on the hills in Red Rock. Like always, the- remember that, and they are not there for your shit. No, uh, whatsoever. And it is major, major corporate. So they're not like no. And there's a video. Not even there's videos to, like, do and, anything. Like, all yeah. that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, in Vegas, by the way, everyone, you are on camera one hundred percent of the time. Yeah. I venture to say, even in your hotel room, maybe not the bathroom. But just be careful. Be careful. That's all there is. Vegas is is always watching. Yeah. Vegas is always watching. Uh, Let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. Uh, This one's going out to Franz Beckenbauer. Yeah. You know him. Everyone does. He's the first person to win the World Cup as a captain and as a coach. Nice. Um, So as a player and a coach. Now, I've won as a... I want to. I was just going to challenge a, you to do a revol- revolutionary figure without bringing it back to yourself. Nope. Okay. Uh, needed to do that because again, uh, one one is a child, is a champion. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Not as a coach yet. Yep. And so, France, France. Uh, look up to you, my man. Yeah. Got to do it as both. Got to do it as both now in this world. So, you know, I'm halfway there. Yep. Halfway there. Yeah. So, I'll be there someday. Hoisting that trophy above yeah. my head. And when I do, <laughs> you can bet your bottom dollar it'll be front and center right here. Right. Uh, you know what's not here? Second place trophy is not on my desk. No, 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 no. No. That no. goes right into the old garbage can. Uh, it's, our son has it for you. No, no, no. I got one too as a coach. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. You keistered that. The kids, the kids got their trophies. I keistered that and then, uh, you know. Keistered it? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to carry it in my hand, is but I had there? to get it off the field. Is it in there right now? Yeah, four days. Oh, it's been okay. in there for four days, and I'll get rid of it later. Okay. Um, my own disposal. Cool, 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 cool. So it's gone. That'll be gone. It will not be on this desk or any other desk. You will never see it. I didn't want anyone else to see it. I didn't want to walk through the parking lot, hence I had to keister it. Right. Do not want anyone to see me holding a second place trophy. Okay. So, friends, I'm coming for you, my man. Coming for you. Well, in the chi- in the in the child division, obviously, but yeah, uh, not in the World Cup. Mm. So, no. Uh, youth league, youth sure. league champion, youth league sure. champion coach. Sure, I will sure. be there someday and know that I will cry like a thousand rivers floating up. No. Mm. All right, for Jesse Wiseman, aka the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.